Hi everyone, welcome to week three of our course. Um, I want to compliment you all first for your excellent discussions uh, in week two. They were engaging, they were rigorous, um, they were of really high quality in your initial post and your response. So I, I just want to say thank you so much and congratulations for doing such a wonderful job at having such engaged and um, informed discussions on the topic of over over representation of diverse learners in special ed so we're moving into week three which gets into our prevention to intervention um, arm of special education looking at rti and mtss you'll see in the readings folder that i've tried to differentiate the reading a, a little bit in the activities that you're going to um, be doing that will lead you through the focus guide and the discussions this week. Um, I know that some districts are fully implementing MTSS, the multi-tiered systems of supports, and other districts are simply using um, a, a form of response to intervention. So that's why I provided two different um, uh, types of evaluation forms that you can complete depending on what your district currently uses. And if your district doesn't officially adopt one of those uh, one of those two officially in name, just choose the one that you think would just best fit the practices that your school district uses. So for this week, um, we're getting away from the textbook and we are focusing solely on RTI, MTSS and evaluating our school district on, on this. Um, so you will see that uh, you will have readings to do um, and an, an evaluation guide. And again, you're looking at these topics through the lens of a principal and looking at it from a, a high view. You're looking at your school, your district as a whole, and how well they are, um, they implement their response to intervention. And so, you, again, I wanna remind you to move away from what you do personally as a teacher, and you have to look at your school system as a whole, okay? The other um, resources and readings that are in uh, week three's folder are um, geared a little bit more towards leadership and leading change. And you'll see starting with week three, I try to incorporate a little bit more of some leadership practices and principles into the, either the lecture or the readings. Um, each week, you'll see some PowerPoints and or um, additional resources for you to look at because these next three weeks, we're getting into programs and practices that are, are implemented at a school and often part of a change um, within uh, within teachers practices sometimes it aligns with teachers beliefs sometimes it is a conflict and as as a principal you have to be a leader of change and um, we can't go about leading change by doing the uh, ready shoot aim approach <laughs> um, if we are leading change as the sole person on top of a mountain um, <laughs> we're going to find and, you know, we don't seek buy-in and support and provide the purpose and the reason for the change um, within our stakeholders, our teachers, and our community. Um, we're going to find ourselves very lonely at the top of the mountain and nobody's climbing up that mountain with us. So I'm trying to provide you with some additional resources and information here uh, this week to help you when you're starting to formulate the recommendations for how you would go about and make improvements not only think about what you want to do, but think about how you were going to do it. And I'm going to probably be giving you feedback each week and reminding you to not leave that important piece out. Um, this is going to be important when you get to that final key assessment. You're going to have your recommendations and what you would do, and then you're going to have a key section with set that says, what are the specific leader actions that you are going to do to lead and support this change? So again, be thinking about that so um, I included in week three um, a very short PowerPoint on my end 
on leading change, and then there is an executive book summary on the, um, the book The Leadership Challenge by Kuzis and Posner, one of my very favorite leadership books. I read it in my um, PhD uh, coursework, and uh, the authors have identified five major, um, the most important leadership practices um, through synthesizing decades of research, they have come up with like the top five and this, the summary is an excellent, um, an excellent overview of these five practices and I want you to be thinking about these as you are evaluating your school, finding those gaps, finding the holes and how well you're implementing MTSS and RTI and then start to reflect on how you would use leadership principles and practices to make change to make those improvements that you see need done. So that's the challenge for you this week. And again, moving forward, we're seeing a little bit more of how to in implement some leadership practices into actual um, improvement of our special ed practices and programs at our school. Um, so you still have a focus guide this week, but the focus guide is more tied to the discussion form and you'll see that when you get into Blackboard. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email and reach out. Otherwise, have a great day.